We saw a much more subdued Conor McGregor than usual at yesterday's press conference. Usually he's all fired up making a big show. That was not the case this time around. It's been a long layoff. So, Michael, what does that tell you about his approach heading into Saturday night? Yeah, it was certainly unusual, wasn't it? Normally we see McGregor, he comes out here, he insults his opponents, he tries to get in their mind. This time, came out here, he was like Donald's best friend, you know. I wanted to throw <laughs> up in my mouth at times. I mean, these guys are going to fight. Now, for McGregor, you know, I guess he's on somewhat of a PR campaign. Listen, we all make mistakes and we want to rectify our public image, so that's fair enough. I also think that he's playing possum with Donald here. He's trying to, you know, pretend we're all friends, but as soon as that cage door shuts, he's going to go at him 100 miles an hour so as I say he's playing a little mind game with Donald um, we saw look Cerrone, Cerrone's been a, uh, a uh, an active fighter a very active mm -hmm. fighter maybe not the best fighter in the UFC but a good active fighter and when you look at McGregor he ha look he loses to Nurmagomedov everyone who fights Nurmagomedov loses to Nurmagomedov that's not the issue he hasn't fought since then what does that mean in terms of this matchup competitively you know, sometimes you may be forgiven for thinking that ring rust is going to be a factor here, OK? Typically, when fighters don't fight for a long time, they don't perform as well. But McGregor's confidence is always through the roof. You know, he truly believes in himself. So I don't think ring rust is going to be a factor. As you say, Nurmagomedov, Madoff, everybody's lost to him. Nobody's beaten him. Prior to that, it was Floyd Mayweather. Same thing. Nobody's beaten him. So the narrative that's going around right now, he hasn't lost, uh, sorry, hasn't won a fight since 2016. That's not necessarily fair. The reality is he's only had one MMA fight since then. Granted, he did lose. But listen, this is Donald Cerrone. This is not Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is a man that has lost many fights. But Cerrone, make no mistake, when he's on form, when he's at his best, he can certainly win this fight. You know, one of the things, first of all, I appreciate you being on the show. One of the things that I noticed, uh, you know, uh, about Conor McGregor, and I don't think this has been mentioned enough. Like you said, he won in 2000, 2015, 2016, stepped away, went and Floyd, fought Floyd Money Mayweather, and then obviously after that he fought Nemega Medoff. My attitude was, I, you know, I, I know he lost and he lost convincingly, but I still felt like he put up a decent showing considering the absence of activity that he had in the octagon at that particular moment of time. He went up against Nemega Medoff. When you look at Conor McGregor, what do you see based on what you saw from the Mega Metal, based on his history? What do you believe his potential is at this stage and point in his career based on the inactivity that obviously he's had? Well, that's a very difficult question to answer, and we will see Saturday night what kind of shape he is in. Listen, in his camp, his coaches are saying all the right thing, you know, all the cliche things. He's in the best shape of his life. His coaches are supposed to say that, but McGregor always looks good. He's in a tough situation. As we just said, he hasn't won a fight for a while, and, you know, he's been in some trouble publicly, so he has to win. So coming into this fight, he is under a lot of pressure. If he loses this fight, it's not over, but certainly the honeymoon phase, you know, the, the, this, this, the, the theory that he's maybe the best fighter to walk the planet. I, I don't think that will exist anymore. Donald Cerrone lost his last two fights. So Conor needs to come into this fight and he needs a big win and he needs to do it in style. Now, Donald Cerrone is a big guy. He's a bigger guy. This fight is at 170 pounds. I think that's a real concern for McGregor coming into this fight. Had it been at 155, had Donald Cerrone been forced to lose all that weight and cut a tremendous amount of water going in just to make weight and step on the scale, I think that would favor McGregor. But the fact... Mm. Donald's a big guy. He's about my size. He's six foot one. He's got a big frame. And at 170, he's going to take a better shot. Michael, Donald's on the show with us yesterday. He was definitely at a chip on his shoulder. He was a little feisty. He was a little short. He was ready to go. But one thing really surprised me. He said he wants to challenge himself. He wants to stand up and he wants to strike with Connor. Do you feel like that's the right strategy for him? Absolutely not. Listen, Cerrone's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We've seen time and time again, if you watch his fights, he has the ability to take his opponents to the floor. McGregor, how does he fight? We all know. He comes mm -hmm. out, he's looking to land that left hand. And if he connects, you go into sleep. For Cerrone, if he's smart, which I know he is, listen, we all love to fight. We're fighters. We're reckless by nature. But for him to win this fight, he's got to mix it up. He's got to clinch. He's got to look for takedowns. If he does that, he has a real good chance of winning this fight. If it stays on the feet and it's predominantly a kick, boxing match you have to favor McGregor so it's McGregor by knockout or by strike versus Cerrone by what rear naked choke right is, is, are those the two most likely outcomes <laughs> 
Well, listen, here's the thing. We all know McGregor's a fast starter. He's kind of a sprinter. In the first round, he's very, very dangerous. Cerrone, on the flip side, in the first round, he's a very, very slow starter. He does get tagged, but as the fight progresses, he gets stronger and stronger. So that's why I'm saying in the first round, Cerrone needs to clinch. Cerrone needs to grapple, look for the takedown. Get out of that first round. The second round is a little closer. By rounds three, we've seen historically, McGregor does start to slow down. That's not a knock on him. That's just his style. He's a sprinter. He's not a marathon runner, where Cerrone is more of a marathon runner. If Cerrone can get it to rounds three, the balance of favour tips towards Cerrone, and I believe if it gets to three, Cerrone wins this fight. I got to tell you, when I think about Cerrone, and obviously, you know, I didn't mean to offend him. I was asking him whether or not he was close to retirement because he's fought, like, he's got 45 fights, 11 losses. He's lost his last two. I certainly didn't mean to insult him. I, I was just wondering. But when I look at Conor McGregor, we're all thinking about a rematch with Nomega Medoff. Let's just be real about it. And Nomega Medoff is the truth. He could do it all. <laughs> Does Conor McGregor in your estimation, have to show that he can actually grapple, not just strike? Does he need to show that particularly to win this fight, especially if he gets past the first round? I don't think so. Listen, McGregor's such a big star. If he gets a big win here, a lot of people, including the UFC brass, they're going to sign off on a rematch with Khabib. However, Khabib's got to sign off on that as well. And we all know Khabib, you know, he said McGregor needs to fight more to do that. Khabib has lots of other challenges. But the reality is, he's got to face Donald Cowboy Cerrone. When Cerrone is on... You know, when he's on top form, he's dangerous. Remember, yeah. he fought four times last year. That can be, you know, mm -hmm. th that can be detrimental, but it can also be a positive thing. He's more used to the nerves. He's more used to that environment. The first two fights that Cerrone had last year were against Ally Quinta and then uh, who was the other one? Alexander Hernandez, pardon mm -hmm. me. If that Donald shows up, McGregor's in a world of trouble. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.